Find a few winners. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Brown, just trying to find out if I can afford to leave the wife. Pardon? Premium bonds. Hundred thousand pounds. I could be lucky. Somebody's got to win it. How many bonds have you got? One. <laughs> <laughs> You're as bad as me. I've only got one. One double F two three two three two. You got a good memory, ain't you? Ah, oh, it's not a difficult one. One double F two three two three two. That's right. Hey, that's it. That's what? One double F two three two three two. I don't believe it. Here, you sure you got the right cucumber? Cucumber? The number! <laughs> I've got my bond here. I'm positive. Look, one double F two three two three two. That's right. Under thousand pounds. What are you going to do with it? What am I going to do? Celebrate, of course. Gladys. Yes, Mr. Brown. Coffee's all round. <laughs> Quiet, everybody, listen. I want to read you all my letter of resignation. No, no, I am definitely resigning with £100,000 I no longer need to teach English. That's true. Right. Dear Dracula. This is to inform you that I think you are a rude, obnoxious and self-opinionated old dragon. And if ever I see you again, it'll be too soon. Yours disrespectfully, Jeremy Brown. <laughs> right, Ali. Yes, please. Do me a favour and see that Miss Courtney gets this straight away. Jelly good. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Oh, yes, Zoltan, your letter. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, Gladys, where's Sid's paper? He went with it, took it with him. Took it with him? I got a paper, Mr. Brown. Oh, great, Max, thank you. There we are. Ernie's lucky winner, £100,000. And today's number is 1EF2323. Wait a minute, that's not right. 1EF, it was 1EF in the other one. We apologise for the misprint in our earlier edition. <laughs> we haven't won anything. Oh. So you will not be resignating after all. Resigning. Oh. Let her do his... <laughs> Hello, please. Ali, the letter to Miss Courtney. She's not in the office. Oh, thank God. Uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Nadine, did you wish to see me? No. Oh, yes, please. This is for you. Thank you very much. I've got another word with you, Mr. Brown. Come into the office. Close the door. I'll just see what this letter is first. Oh, I shouldn't bother if I were you. You never know where it's been. It could be full of jokes. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I seem to recognise this writing. It looks remarkably like yours, Mr Brown. Oh, it's nothing like mine. It just looks like mine. Oh, well, I'd better open it. Uh, I think I'll go. I haven't finished with you yet. You will have when you've read that letter. <laughs> nothing. Miss Courtney. I have never read anything like this in my life. I can explain. Just listen to this. I'd rather not. <laughs> Dear Miss, I am writing to tell you of my feelings for you. You see, I thought I'd won a... Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hold you in my arms and kiss you. <laughs> you did write this letter, Mr. Brown. Ah, yeah, well, not to you. But I you, mean, the, the... the letter you were writing for that Hungarian student. Yes, you see, what must yes, have happened? You don't need to go on. I mean, it's obvious he's been smitten by my charm in real <laughs> I have told you before, Mr. Brown, that I do have this strange fascination for the opposite sex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> you may not believe this, Mr. Brown, but when I was a young girl, I was very plain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cup of tea, please, Paris. Everything hockey, Mr. Brown? Yes, I must have put Zoltan's letter to his girlfriend in my envelope to Miss Courtney. Hey, he's not going to be very happy. Why not? He's just gone to give the letter you write to Miss Courtney to his girlfriend. Oh. But... <laughs> <laughs> you think that's all happy, but... Watch out!